Now the laser cavity is set up with a 45 centimeter mirror at, at this end. And there's a 60 centimeter mirror at this end. And then there's a mirror over here at the end to take the output and direct it over onto the wall. All right. So our laser output is over here. So we can tell at a glance whether the laser is lazing or not because by looking at see if there's a spot there. Now I've added a rail over here so I can unbolt this mirror. It's actually just sitting on the table right now with uh, not screwed on but touching just touching the rail and uh, because the mirror is already aligned I should be able to translate it along that rail and just by tipping it side to side get the laser to laser again. Now as I'm doing that all you need to see is that the laser briefly flashes, right? I'll be, I'll be, you know, tipping the mirror through alignment back and forth and so the flat laser will just flash on and off. If, I, if I'm careful I might be able to get it to let go of it and have it stay lazing. So let's see, with a 45 centimeter mirror and a 60 centimeter mirror, if you look at the equations for stability of the cavity, they predict that Cavities with these two curvatures of mirrors should be stable for um, cavity separate with mirror separations less than 45 centimeters, which is hard to do because the tube itself is almost 40 centimeters long. So there's not much room to get uh, in, into, into that region. But uh, for, it should be stable for less than 45 centimeters and greater than 60 centimeters. But there's a region of instability in between 60 and 45 centimeters. So that's from about, well, here's about, here's 60 centimeters spacing, and 45 is in here. So the, the equations predict it should be stable out in this, for the mirror out in this region, right? And then there'll be a region of instability in here. So as I move this mirror in closer and closer, it should get uh, more and more unstable. And finally, when I get to about here, I shouldn't be able to get it to laze at all. So let's see what that looks like. First, if I move the mirror further this way, I can get it to laze. I saw it flash a couple times. If I move it in closer, right, lazing there. Lazing there. Lazing here. All right, now my cavity length is about 67 centimeters. Sixty-five. Lazing. Still lazing. Pretty dim, just barely lazing. That's sixty two centimeters. All right, 61. Pretty close to 60. We should be getting to that region of instability. All right, and I'm not having any getting at the lays. Now that I'm at a cavity length shorter than 60 centimeters, I'm going to keep moving it up here and see if anything happens. Still no. I'm going to put it back here. No problem getting at the lays at all.